Hello, this is Francis from McCaffrey Crafts and uh, I thought I'd give you guys an update of how my day went and any kind of random thoughts that uh, that come into my head and I have my cup of tea ready and I won't let it get cold today for a change. You know, after a long day working, like you can't, you can't bait a cup of tea. It's just, you know, it's the little things there that you do appreciate and uh, I don't know is it an Irish thing or what like, but just that, that's, you know, on a cold January day and I was doing some cutting today just to kind of sit down, relax, have a cup of tea. It's just, you know, it's up there. The good, good, it's the little feelings there that just kind of give you a boost uh, through the rest of the day. <clears throat> and look, I even don't have biscuits today. Usually I have like some little chocolate or, or some little treat to give to yourself. Like you have to, after in life, always give yourself a little treat, especially when you do a hard day's work, like just some, some little thing, it always helps. But yeah, I'll just kind of <clears throat> give you kind of an update of what I did today and just, um, respond to some kind of emails that I got as well. Um, so today, just waited for the courier as usual, and um, came on time today for a change, which is good, because when he comes in time, I, I don't have to wait around, I can get on to, to other tasks. Um, spent pretty much the morning painting sticks. I have about 15 uh, walking sticks that I'm currently working on, and they're really nice ones. They're the ones with all the knuckles, you know, all the way down the shaft. So like, uh, they look like real, real good blackthorn sticks. You know, like uh, the ones with all the knuckles uh, along along the way. So uh, hopefully now all things going well. They're they're just drying over there in the corner, and uh, so probably we need to do another coat or two of the black, and then apply the finish, and then you know make sure they're 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 looking good before I put them online. So hopefully now maybe another probably tomorrow evening or the day after I should have them all all ready and have them online the site. So if you're looking for a uh, walking sticks um, and you want to see what new ones I have just just you know give a gawk at the website in about about two times I have plenty of sticks on I kind of I want to like get my my stock up again so as soon as I have a load of walking sticks up I can kind of like you know focus on on cutting because after lunch today that's what I was doing for the afternoon uh, today I went more on a kind of scout to try to find some other patches of sticks and you know some things you got to be remembered that it's not always that easy to find sticks. Like you can find blackthorn bushes and you think, perfect, I'll go in here and cut a load of sticks. Then when you get to the blackthorn bush, go in and have a look, you'll find there, there's not the three foot, three and a half foot type of sticks that you want. They're too bendy, they're too twisty, the handle doesn't look right. So today I had one of those days where I went out and about looking. I, I had all these blackthorn bushes. I was like, happy days, gonna get a lot here. And I just got five sticks. There's only like in the whole bush, I went through and I spent ages looking through and scouting the area. There's only about five that were worthy of, of making a walking stick. So sometimes that happens when you go cutting. Like, you know, it's very handy when you have, you know, a, a piece of land and, and you can kind of cut the, the sticks. But, you know, like the, the best sticks, they're, they're not at the side of the road. You know, that, that they just don't grow in, in that kind of manner. You have to go and, and root them out and, and go in right into the middle of the bush to, to get the, the best ones. So that's kind of like my plan for today and my plan for the rest of the week. So that's the kind of update on that. And then uh, I've nearly a cup of tea gone already. I'm going to make sure I drink it all this one so it doesn't get cold. Uh, <clears throat> just responding to a kind of few emails that I got after the last video. Um, and uh, people were just asking questions about like, you know, what advice I can give them when they're buying a walking stick. How do they know if, if someone is a legit seller or not? You know, the, the usual things. And um, they were also telling me some stories of walking sticks they bought online. They had some problems and then they didn't know how to respond to get their money back or refund. And I, they, they, they kind of touched on one important aspect that I wish to cover, kind of cover in, in this video is that if you're buying a walking stick, not a walking stick, any product online, the person you should buying from, you should know who they are. You should know their name. You should know their full address. If they're registered, do they give you full receipts as well? So, you know, that's very important to have when you're buying something like, you know, buying a black turn isn't a cheap thing. It's not like you're buying a t-shirt or, you know, a pair of socks or something like that. A black turn is, you know, it's it's not not cheap. Like, you know, for a real black turn, I'm talking about not, not the imitation ones you see out there. But, uh, Real black thorn, you know, they're, they're going to cost cost a little bit, like to get one. So you want to make sure you're buying from a reputable seller. And and the thing is, like, you know, if if anything goes wrong, you want to know who the person is. So 
the first bit of advice I can give, just from reading some of the emails and some of the stories that I was I was reading there last night, actually, when I was checking through my emails, is that um, you you need to know the full name of the person, their real name, not like some Mr. John or, or you know, something like that. Like I have a few, a few guys who were just saying they had a, a name of like John or, or, or something like that uh, along the way. So they didn't really have a, a lot of a lot of information. So other than uh, other than uh, than that, you need to know their full address. Um, you need to know who, where they're located. Like if you have a problem to stick, you have to know where to send it back to. If the if you don't know the address, the physical location and address of the person you're buying from, don't buy it. You know, it's that that's just good advice for for buying anything. Like I don't understand why why some people. One guy he said he spent two hundred and you know, uh, 220 euro on a black drawn stick. And he didn't know the name of the guy in his first name, didn't know where he was from, didn't know his address to post it back to. So it's kind of very important to, uh, to, to have this information when you're buying anything online. Know the name of the person, know their physical address, get a receipt. You know, receipts are sent automatically, like, you know, from, from my website, or if you don't get it through the spam filter, I can resend send it again. The receipt should have all your information on there, as well as the person's information. So, you know, when you're when you're selling, you should know, uh, all. Or, I mean, when you're buying, you should know all the seller's information like that. That's like really, really important. So, you know, that, that's kind of all I'll say more on that, because I got a few emails about it as well, I thought it'd be interesting. And like, and um, for those of you who stayed around to the end, you know, it's always good to talk about successes and stuff. But like I thought I'd show you today, where did I throw? Oh yeah, here we go. It's like <clears throat> sometimes when you're straightening sticks, you know, this will happen. <laughs> the stick will snap, and uh, that's always a sign that that it's uh, that it's going to uh, you know it's not going to be a good piece of wood. Sometimes you see this, you're you're going around, you're trying to heat up different aspects to it, and I just wanted to show you guys today what it looks like when it's kind of rotten inside. Because sometimes like you know, it might be okay here and okay at the bottom and then you know there might be some flaw or something in the wood in certain points but when you're straightening the stick it, it always gets rid of all the ones that are rotten so like here you can kind of like see what it looks like uh, let me hold that a bit steady so you can see it there you go it's kind of like uh, flaky and, and very soft and this kind of swish cheesy type of uh, effect to it as well so you can kind of like see what it kind of looks like if it is rotten and different things like that and you have to kind of test them out and bend it a few different ways usually like if there's sticks that you don't know that are rotten usually during the straightening process it will weed out almost all of them and um, you know like uh, so if the, the stick is rotten that's kind of what it looks like in there as well and like i think i have another just example here again just to show you guys something you know it's not all it's not all a win-win-win when you're doing the the black torn business sometimes you're straightening a nice stick and like you just kind of snap it and you know if you if you get a stick that kind of snaps like that sometimes you can think ah, i'll just kind of shave it here and i try to save it but like you know if, if it goes you know like if there's a really thin little layer of it maybe but like when it kind of snaps like that just forget about it you know it's uh you know that's that's not a, a good sign the integrity of the stick is not good if it's like snapping like that when you're trying to straighten like some of the bends on it it's never a good sign so like uh, something just to be aware of and I just wanted to show you as well that like, uh, you know, if your stick snaps when you're straightening it, don't worry, it happens. Uh, you know, there's always going to be a certain percentage of your sticks that are, you know, you can't use. You know, uh, you can change them to other things. They're good for firewood. They're good for, for plenty of things. So you always cut plenty. But like whenever you encounter a stick that, that has something like that and it starts to snap or to bend or it looks a certain way, you know, you just put it behind you, move on. Don't worry about it. Don't spend hours trying, how can I save this? Is there something I can do? You know, just put it to the side and just continue on to the next stick. And, uh, you know, that's the kind of, you know, the, the approach you should have with anything. Whenever you hit any obstacle in life, you know, why dwell, dwell in it? Why this, why that? Just say, right, on to the next thing and then kind of move forward. So anyway, that's kind of nice little, little kind of moral to, uh, actually, maybe I'll do that. I'll just throw in these little moral nuggets in, into, into these kind of uh, ramblings as well. And uh, yeah, thanks for, for watching. Uh, I think I forgot a Zoom meeting for my kids now, uh, class at school. I just got a, an alert from their school teacher. So I think I, I have to sit down and oh, do one of those uh, Zoom uh, classroom things. So oh, better better call this teacher back. They're sending me a message. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.